Alright. Let's see. I think I'm gonna give it a few more tries. With this setup. And if it doesn't work, then I'll just... Try something different. Right? Reload the save and... Spend my money on different upgrades, I think. But... Hmm... Yes, again, there is an element of luck to this. If everything goes well, you know, and like at least a few of my units in the front here survive until the very last turn, we might be able to do it, you know? But it really depends whether or not we live long enough to do that. Here. Oh, not assault. Fanatic. Reporting for duty. Fanatic. Issue your command. Fanatic. Fanatic. Hundred eighty. Phoenix, waiting orders. Ah, uh, you go here. Finish it off. <sighs> I want you to finish it off. I guess you can finish. Or not? Or you can finish it off. Or not. Issue your command. <laughs> you can finish it off. Great. Let me shoot a few shots that way, and maybe, I don't know, shoot a little bit there. Alright. You will laser this one. All systems are green. Uh, I'm here. All systems are green. Sable. Enemy systems complete. Alliance cruiser here. All systems green. Hmm. Oh, Chris got ah. It's got destroyed immediately. That sucks. Alliance cruiser here. Can we survive with all her? I don't know. The Sun Rider awaits Alliance orders. Reporting for duty. Alliance cruiser here. Hmm. Huh? Phoenix, waiting order. I'll get there before anyone else. Going back. Let's go get him. Oh, you were there, Captain? Reporting for duty. Can you destroy this Iron Hog? Come on, 32%. Missed both of them. Ah. Uh. Oh, did I not? Maybe I forgot. Maybe I forgot to decrease our accuracy. That might have been why that Kriska got destroyed right there in the in the beginning. Saga's so down. Phoenix is down. Oh, you were there, Captain. Reporting for duty. Observing the enemy. Sunrider is at your disposal, Captain. Okay. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Alliance cruiser here. Alliance cruiser here. Anything for you, Captain. Now, since Chris went down so easily, might have to restart this one too. We did destroy the two assault carriers pretty early, though. That's good. At the very least. Um, but this support rider is still alive, however. Shoot! Lose one health. Oh well. Oh, Lion's Cruiser's down. Observing the enemy. 
Ah, missed the 69%. Oh no. Oh no. Being able to repair twice, but you got us probably it's pretty nice because I just can't seem to repair anyone up to full health. Which we, which we, well, normally we, we could have done from our default setup last time, the very first time rather. Now we can't. That sucks. Are you thinking all guard now? And turn. Nope, we lose. Let's try again. You know what? What I probably forgot to do is increase these guys' aim. So let's do that this time. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, it's for you. Ah. Rather, only take one volley rather than two. Alliance cruiser here. Oh well. Reporting for duty. Hmm. Mm -hmm. hmm. Order, sir. Issue your command. Yes, sir. Nope. Uh, hit please. Okay. Maybe the Sunrider. Oh, well, actually, Sunrider cannot attack. Ah, uh, this sucks. 3 HP, we can't finish it off. Except with a Saga, but we want to use her to destroy these Iron Hogs. So, unless we want to use her. Technically, we can. Like that. Mm, but then she can't disable. Never mind. But again, doing the same thing over and over and over again until it works. That's the plan, really. And doing this, I don't know, uh, for how long? I guess it depends. Really depends whether or not I think it's possible. Because if I get the best rolls, but land my shots, you know, the ones I want. Do everything correctly and dodge everything, then maybe I'd be in a good position. But even if I end up being in a good position and I still lose, that's when I consider mm, to when I when I consider going back and changing my upgrades and trying something different. Because if this doesn't work, then I have to try something else, right? What can I do for you, Let's see. The enemy. You go oh, here. Ah, uh, to you. Alliance cruiser here. Yes, Captain. All right. Hmm. 
Now, can we make the Phoenix fish it off instead? Alliance cruiser here. This had better be. Uh, how much armor? One armor? I hope Potentially. Doing, yeah. Well, it was 100%, right? So it's guaranteed, actually. Let's go back here. Now the Phoenix is gonna take a lot of heat, which might work for us. Oh, this is for you. Try to destroy them on the opposite side, so like the Iron Hog. But then again, yeah. Very unlikely the Iron Hogs will not be in shield range, though. Anything oh well. Excuse your aim anyway. And disable you. This might be a good start, actually. A good first turn. The best I can think of. Really? Oh, and you can still shoot once, so I'll shoot you. Oh, missed again. Or shoot twice, rather. Okay, well, at least hit once. Yeah, still the best start we have so far. I'm thinking of just like save scumming, ha! Huh. But it really depends actually, I don't know if this is actually the best start because we did some significant damage, but also like, will the Phoenix survive the initial onslaught? She has the best chance to survive, but it's not guaranteed though. Let's see. Mm -hmm. No, she's dead. Mm, then again, her sacrifice... Uh, actually sucks because we need to we need to move her up to destroy these support riders. Observing the enemy. Hmm. I'm gonna still shoot you. And I guess try to shoot down this assault carrier. Alliance cruiser here. The sun riders She did absorb all of the damage though, so at least there's that, you know. Hmm. You will try to take down. Okay, good. You did. Reporting for duty. How can I help? Alliance cruiser here. Shall I compute something for you? Hmm. No need to repair, actually. In which case, we can. So you like that. Yes, sir. Blackjack, good to go. Hmm. You that holding position, sir. Ah, uh, probably just better to shoot like that. Mm, might as well take a shot. Eh, I'll miss. Oh well. Alliance cruiser here. Alliance cruiser here. At your command. Oh, command me, Captain. Order me, Captain. <laughs> I accidentally downloaded. Oh, I guess his login password. That'll show you. Okay. Aim down on YouTube. Might as well. Alright. Hmm. Yeah. End turn. Got a blue screen. I'm here. Okay. Finish you off. Alright. What do we do now? Hmm, can we go? Actually... Technically, we go here in melee. Keep saying melee. Melee. But it's... Hmm, not enough to kill, though. Maybe it's not worth it. We can repair. But should we? Should we just disable it again? All 
systems are green. We should probably do. Let's see. Destroy a battleship, I think. Probably a good idea. At least try to destroy a battleship. Yeah. And try to sh well, might as well shoot you then. Like that. Reporting for duty. Mm -hmm. Shoot you. Like that. You too. Reporting for duty. Yeah. Meh. Meh. What will you do, Asaga? Should we just shoot him? Like that? Yeah. Hmm. 65 shields. Might as well... Take some, some of its health down. Maybe, yeah. Repair or disable? I think disable's better. Okay, anyone... Does anyone get de debuffed? Actually, yeah, Chigata got did. So you should restore Chigata's shields. Anyone else? I'll turn off the flak for her. So... That. Using the remaining energy to do what? To maybe decrease your aim. That's all we can do. We didn't heal, so this might turn out. This might turn sour. In fact, actually, maybe this is a good time to enter all guard, right? Because we don't really have any other big units to destroy, except that support. It would be great to. Hmm. Uh, but... Ah, uh, I think it's better to all guard. At this point, we need all guard. Because we just need to survive at this point. But, well, even with the buff, I don't know if we will. Let's see. Mm, okay, well, we're not dead yet. That's good. Shoot you. 55 health. Uh, you have 65 shields. So maybe... Mm, salt won't hit. Probably laser. Is that this enough? Is this enough to kill? Yes it is. Good. Alright. We're in a pretty good position, I think. What we should do is repair, though. Who do we repair? Probably... Kriska. Yeah. Just to make sure that they focus on Kriska, not the Sun Rider. By having her kill some enemies. Who do we hmm, then well, who do we aim at now though? We have choices now. Let's see. Probably hmm. Probably a battleship. Either a battleship or this one. Probably both. Okay, I'm aiming to destroy both these guys right here. I'll shoot you. Like that. At your command. Ba bam. Ba bam. Order, you will finish it off. Like so. And you, Order, you guys sir. will uh this was not worth it. You just shoot it all like that like that. For duty. Take down its armor. There's two armor left though. Ready to roll. Shield, so uh Saga's so still pretty far away. But, let's see. Okay, it's, it has uh, one armor now. Order, Captain. Yes, Captain. You can shoot a laser, or, well, how much shields does it have? 40 shields? Yes, I can lose, do some damage. Okay, now it has, still has one armor. At your command. For duty. You, for duty, now you will try to finish it off, hopefully. Uh, kinetic. Nah, just. Mmm. Mm. 
Maybe not. I was hoping we would finish it off. Oh, might as well kinetic. I don't think... Yeah, salt might not be able to do it, so might as well kinetic. And we did it! Oh, okay. We did destroy the two guys we wanted to destroy. They are downed. Now what? We can't do much else, but use, but use Claude's abilities. Who do we decrease the aim of? Probably the ones in front of us, first. Increase our aim. Just doing something like that. Uh, you guys just spawn, so I'll probably decrease your aim as well. Yeah. Okay. Let's see, I guess the Phoenix, yeah, the Phoenix's sacrifice did give us a little bit more momentum in terms of just keeping our health high or higher, but. Alright, this is this is well this is not even closely done yet, this is only halfway I believe. Let's see what happens. Don't kill any of our units. Okay, you kill a saga. That's pretty bad, but it's not the end of the world. Alright. Here you go. Two cell carriers. What we need to do is awaken. So she'll have enough. Hopefully, I th believe, yeah, enough damage to destroy at least one of the support riders when they spawn. And I probably need to repair... Hmm. Well, either I need I disable one of the assault carriers or repair. Hmm, I think I need repair. Probably a good idea. And then, now what? There's nothing else, else we can do. Uh, I guess we can just shoot this guy. Why not? Alright. And all the ships out here are just too far away for us to do much damage against. Like these ships, that ship. We can't do much about them. So we just have to destroy the units in front of us, I believe. That's all we can do. Really. I could try and destroy this bow ship, maybe? Mm, maybe, yeah. We can. Might as well. It is a threat, so... It might get close and use his cannons against us. So might as well try to destroy it. Right, and you finish it off. And you guys will maybe shoot down this guy. Shoot down this pack delete. Maybe. Uh, hmm, what can you do? You shoot it twice, 45. If you can hit... Okay. And maybe you can finish it off with your assault guns? Maybe? How much armor does it have? Zero? Hmm... Okay, well, it's close to dead. If it gets close, it'll get counterattacked and destroyed. Most likely. Now we need to use Claude's abilities. Anyone else? Does anyone else have any debuffs on them? I don't think so. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I think they're fine. Everyone's fine. So, let's get to debuffing. Probably buff... Anyone with missiles probably we need to decrease the aim of. So, increase your aim. Increase your aim. Increase your aim. Yeah, a lot of these battleships spawned. So as the cell carriers, let's see. These are bombers too, right? Oh. It's inconvenient. I don't know, okay. I don't know, actually I don't know. Does a does a pirate bomber or a Pack bomber do more damage with their initial missiles. I'm actually not sure. Oh well, I guess. Uh, actually, I, I, I and I also don't know. Does, did anyone shoot their missiles already? I don't. I well, I kind of like skipped everything, so I don't know. Another quality of life function I wish this game had. I wish they showed like what enemies already shot their missiles. You know. I guess. Well, I mean, I was also say I was also thinking that. 
they could also show their capacity as well, how much ammo they have left, but that might be a little... Um... Might be a little bit too, more, too much information, but then again, like, it won't make the game easier or harder, really. It's just... just for the player to know, right? Which bombers already use their missiles, especially their initial, like, burst damage missile that does, well, does a lot of damage. Would be nice to know. That's all I'm saying. But... I mean, I'm, I'm assuming the ones back here just spawn, so I'll just decrease your accuracy. Right? Issue your command. I mean, I think we're in a pretty good position. We have uh, the guys in front. And our shields are still up. Our sniper is primed to take down the support once it spawns. Their support, anyway. But that really depends if they do enough damage to destroy us in this turn. I don't think they will, but let's see. We might get unlucky and get hit by a big missile and die horribly. Numbers are going down, but Kriska seems, yeah, Kriska is still alive. This is, I think this is the best we can get at the moment. Uh, but this is the second last turn, right? So it's not the very last turn yet. Or is it? Or actually, I can't tell. Mm, I don't think it's the very last turn. Or is it? I can't remember, actually, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it is the last turn? Because I see the support. Probably spawn from the assault carrier, right? Or did it just spawn out of thin air? <laughs> I don't know. But let's shoot it down. Death from, the abyss. Death from the abyss. Very edgy. So it can't do much against us. I can't actually. I, I don't know. I can't remember. Is this the last turn? Hmm. Is it the last turn where the other assault carriers? Like, there's two assault carriers that spawn one after the other. Hmm. Okay, I don't know. This may this may be the last turn. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. But what do we do? We repair the Sun Rider. Yep. That's what we do. And who do we attack? Oh, there's a bunch of... Useless minions in front of us. There's this guy as well, so we should probably attack this one. Um, again, all the other ships too far away to do much, to like, do anything about, really. Um, hmm. We could destroy some cruisers, I guess. They might do some, some significant damage if they attack with their cannons. But I also don't want the Pat the lead to just like come close and just destroy the Liberty, you know? So I'm thinking of just shooting it down. Alliance cruiser here. Hmm. Alliance cruiser here. Uh, Order, sir. Yeah, we're just gonna shoot it down like 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 this. Not very efficient, but Not very efficient at all. For duty. It's zero armor, right? So... Come on, die! Eh. Die already! Okay, finally. <laughs> uh. Okay, now what? Not much we can do at the moment. Two missiles... Mm, this one's got... Pretty okay, pretty okay chance to hit, so... Or at least not being intercepted. And maybe we can... finish it off? Like so. Alright. This doesn't, doesn't really do much. They, don't, they These guys don't really do much damage. But might as well take a... like... Take the small victories as much as we can. Or rather, take as many small victories as we can. Okay. Now what I'm, what I'm really worried about is these guys. One, two, three... Yeah, three packed elites. They're gonna shoot their missiles at us. 
Hopefully, uh, our guard is still up, so... Hmm. We just really need to not let those missiles hit us. Which... Can't really do much about... Really... I might as well shoot you. Uh, can't really do much about... Uh, let's see... Oh, I gotta decrease your, your aim. Your aim. Guess his login password. Lucky me. Anything you say. Decrease your aim. And I got one more debuff, so I'll decrease. Ah, uh, your aim. Yep. This is all we can do. Let's see. If this is this is the final turn, if we survive, then we win, maybe. Again, I want that turn counter. There's no there's no turn counter in this game. Or maybe, uh, or maybe there is, a, there is, or I don't know. Again, if there is, then I missed the option in the menu. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure there isn't. Let's end a turn. Hmm, it says pirate phrase or pirate phase. I wonder why that is. Usually it says packed phase, right? Kind of weird. Hmm. Everyone seems to be attacking Kriska. Comes the missiles. Please intercept them. Ah, uh, well. Uh. Shall I perform a tactical retreat, Captain? She survived. That one onslaught of missiles. Here comes more. And well, she's dead. Okay, we do have some alliance cruisers to help with the flak, right? To stop too much missiles from getting through. But you know, I should have saved. <laughs> Ah, uh, they all seem to be attacking the Sunrider. Okay, this one absorbed damage. Okay, here comes the big one. Missed, okay, because it got intercepted, good. I don't know if there's any more of those big missiles. Uh oh, that's a lot of damage. Okay, I don't know why they shot the cruiser with those puny guns. I guess it's the highest chance to hit, even though it won't do much damage anyway. That's why they attack with those guns. Oh, here comes another big missile. Please, please, intercept. Please, please, intercept. Well, at least it missed. I don't think it intercepted, but it missed. Okay. Another barrage, and it's attacking this one. That's pretty high health, so I don't mind, actually. Please, attack. Yeah, don't, don't attack the Sunrider. Attack everyone else. That's fine. And... Oh. Okay, five intercepted. Five got through. Okay. We're taking fire. These puny guys are now gonna start shooting at us. Mm. Well, if they attack this one enough, they might actually be able to destroy it. Oh, well, this one's gonna attack the Sun Rider, though. One one. Who are you gonna attack? You gonna attack our sniper? Huh. Cover. Okay. Weird decision from the AI, but that's fine. That's fine for me. 
I don't need our sniper. She can go. She can go down. She doesn't. She actually doesn't provide much support. If it's the last turn, if it is indeed the last turn, anyway, she can't do much after it, really, or during it. She has no flak, right? She has she can't. She can't shoot down missiles with her gun, and she doesn't do much else. She's just there to take down the key targets, which is the support riders that the enemy has. That Pact has. Actually, I actually wonder, does uh, does the pirates have any support riders? I never see any pirate support riders, as far as I know, anyway. Or, uh, well, as, as far as I can remember. Hmm. Okay, more missiles. Okay, against her. Hey, she's taking some damage. Or rather, she's taking some damage for us, anyway. So, that's okay for me. This one's low on health though, so it might be destroyed pretty soon. Yep. It's dead. Uh, that's bad, because that's one source of... Uh, missile defense down. Okay, here comes more missiles. Ah, missiles galore. This one misses, okay. Okay, oh, okay, here comes the really dangerous missiles from the elites. But, uh, they're against this one, this ship. They do a lot of damage, but at least it's not towards the Sunrider. I would be worried if it's against the Sunrider. And this one is against the Sunrider. Zero intercepted. Ah, uh, if one of those hits the Sunrider once more... Ah, uh, no, please! Okay, good, okay. Not not against the Sunrider. Whew. Uh, might not be over yet. Okay, spawn in some supports, I guess. Yes! Oh, that was the last turn. Okay, good. Oof. Okay, we gained, we gained some money. Got some command points back. Ah, oh, alright. Ah! Uh, finally, we did it. We did, well... We did lose one of the Lion ships, though, so... That's some money down the drain, but... Oh, we still completed the mission. Ah... Oh, uh. The Sunrider, Sunrider, Sunrider. <sighs> this game. It's not, well, I was gonna say, like, it is a difficult game, but it's not the same difficulty as other types of games I've played. You know, for example, Dark Souls, you know? Dark Souls, you can beat without any kind of RNG. You just get better, right? When you fight bosses and enemies and that, you learn the moveset, you learn the attack patterns, but in, like, a strategy game, it's more, it's more so luck, you know? More about the numbers, the probability, and managing those chances with like the correct upgrades, I guess, or the correct positioning. So, I don't know, it's just a different kind of difficulty, I feel like. At least with this game, anyway. Uh, well... And, well... Like, I'm thinking, like, is it the kind of difficulty I like? Not really. You know, when when something I, it feels like anyway, if I have to rely on luck to win, it just doesn't feel as satisfying. You know, I want something to be one hundred percent in my own control. So if I lose, then it's my fault. But if I win, it's completely one hundred percent. You know, me that did it. Uh, I don't know. I still like the game though, right? I still like the game. Just wish that. The strategy part, you know, was a little bit more defined. Less, less like, less XCOM, I guess. You know, XCOM? You always see the, tons of those memes where... Um, there's a soldier, like, shooting an alien with a probability of, like, 90%, but they still miss. Right? I don't know. <sighs> anyway. But we were able to finish that mission. We were able to survive six turns! Amazing. 
The enemy fleet has been diverted. More pack reinforcements are inbound. Engage warp on my mark. Warning, it's... Not again. Hard to port. Consoles exploded, and Conduit sparked as the Sunbrider took a direct hit. Crewmen were flung from their stations. Shields fell to the floor as the bridge rattled, like it was splitting in half. Ah. Ah. Report. Ava picked herself off the ground. Our warp drive is no longer functional. Us surviving six turns was futile. It all meant nothing. Ah! Fires reported in engineering. Loss of pressure in cabins 32 to 41. 20 crewmen are reported injured. Three missing. Return fire. Prioritize restoring our warp drive. Captain, another power surge has been detected from the Legion. Brace for... Bam! Well, we're all dead. That's too bad. But hey, as we're dying, we're having... Uh... Well, we'll actually, what are they called? Like, uh... Near-death experience, you kind of have, like... Flashes from your life or something. Anyway. Kato shivered as he looked out the window. The snow fell from the night sky in huge globs. He could hardly make out the light pulses in the school field against the whiteout. Ugh, we're in trouble now. Baka. <laughs> Idiot. Shut up and work. This is a huge problem. There's no way we're gonna be like, able to get home at this rate. And that's the least of our problems. Are you kidding me? This blizzard's gonna go all night. Ava sighed. I guess they're stuck in school while there's a blizzard outside. We still have so much more work to do, and graduation's just two days away now. It's natural we have to work late. Kato looked at the stack of remaining paperwork to complete for the graduation ceremony. The stack was nearly half of Ava's height. The more he looked at it, the deeper he drowned in despair. Zitsubo. This wouldn't even have happened if you hadn't told everyone else to leave. They were fooling off. They were gonna graduate this week. Of course they're not gonna be able to focus. Hmm. The duty of the student council is to the students. If they're gonna take their duties seriously, then I have no need for them. Look here. You're a smart person, but we gotta do something about that personality of yours. You seriously want no friends for the rest of your life? Ava sighed. I don't particularly care. Ah. You're always like this. You know... Ava stood from her seat. But where are you going? The vending machine. I need a break. I... <sighs> Alright. You know... Again, I don't think Ava's being honest here. Did she make everyone leave because everyone was fooling off? Or did she have some... Uh, hidden motives? Anyway. I'll be here. Trying to sort this mess out. Kato burrowed his frown as he filled out the sixtieth or sixtieth sixtieth sick. Why can't I say it? Sixty sixtieth sixtieth sixtieth. What I keep? Uh, sometimes I just pronounce words incorrectly for no reason at all. Sixtieth. Equipment request form of the evening. Finally, he threw away his pen. No littering. Ah, uh, there's no way we're gonna be able to finish all this. I'm sorry, Madam Prince, but I am offering in my letter of resignation. It's been a good year and we have tried our darnest, but this is the end. <laughs> in his delirium, Kato saluted. Before I fall on this battlefield, let me just say this. Death to all paperwork. Let it be known that I, Kato Shields, has just declared paperwork to be his mortal enemy. I shall make it my life goal to never touch another piece of paperwork in my life. <laughs> ha 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 ha. Laughter. You know, again, it's really hard to just fake laughter out of nowhere. <laughs> ha 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 ha. Reminds me of Final Fantasy X, where 
Titus tried to fake laughter and it sounded like seagulls. Ha ha ha. Ava stood. She kicked the entire stack of paperwork over, sending forms flying across the classroom. Oh. Kato stared at her. His jaw dropped. <clears throat> it's not like we're gonna be able to finish it anyways. Yeah, but... Hey Kato, there's a space heater in the top cabinet. Go get it. Kato got on top of a chair and took the space heater out. Oh, you should have told me this earlier. I was freezing my butt off. He turned the heater on and sat in front of it. Ava took a seat next to him. And so our glorious adventures end. Well, uh, it was good while I asked it. Huh, good. It was a disaster. Everyone hated me. And what good did any of it do? It's not like any of the school officials listened to anything I had to say anyways. The student council is just a means for the adults to dump paperwork they don't want to do themselves on unsuspecting kids. Valuable leadership experience? Good for your resume? Huh. Well, at least one of us thought it was rewarding. Baka. You're hopeless. Thank you very much. I'm grateful for your service too. Huh. Well, that's that then. Whatever destiny awaits you, I hope you can find what you're looking for in space. Hmm. Destiny, huh? What a bunch of crap. I'm only doing that because of my dad. Listen here, Kato. When there's trillions of, of us, each of us doesn't matter much. Remember that when you're sitting at the president's chair next year. Prez. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> hey Kato, you want a kiss? Nani! Ah, oh, where did that suddenly come from? Let's make out. Do it. Oh, I get it. Let's mess with Kato's head more by talking about destiny and crap. Let's see if I can play him one last time before I leave. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? No, she just wants to make out with you. Come on, Kato. Well, unfortunately, Prez, I already have all uh, have you all figured out. There's absolutely no way you'd ever. A soft, faraway sensation. Despite being nose to nose, that was the feeling of their first kiss. Smouch! Their hearts, their, or their houses, their hearts, their kokoros, doki dokied. A lock of her hair tickled his neck. Baka. She hit her face, nervousness now biting away at her cool exterior. Look, the snow stopped. Kato stood and looked out the window. And so it did. Let's go home. Yeah. The two walked away, or two walked through the snow covered street. Not a lot of snow in the background though, you didn't. you didn't draw that. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I can't believe they make us wear these uniforms in this cold. Damn this. I hear some private schools even have uniforms made of thermoweave now. Why can we never get any of the good stuff? Kato's just avoiding the subject. But what just happened? Is that the reason why you joined the student council in the first place? Shit. I already forgot why I even joined in the first place. Idiot. Ava grabbed his hand. My hand's not any warmer. Screw winter! Ah! Men who complain too much aren't popular, you know? I mildly condemn this below nominal temperature of this season. Unbelievable. They arrived at their apartment. Uh, well, uh... The janitor is gonna have quite a shock when he sees all the forms scattered about tomorrow morning. You might... You think they might withhold my diploma for that? Oh, that looks like we'll be together again for next year too. Well yeah, so I guess Kato's like one year before. So technically, Ava is our senpai. Uh, one year... Well, one year earlier rather. Anyway, um... Heh, <laughs> like that would ever happen. See ya. 
Kato turned to leave when Ava grabbed onto the tail of his coat. Baka, don't leave. What? It's quiet in my place. Oh. Oh. It's silent all the time. Murray was sitting on the front balcony when she saw Kato entering Ava's apartment. Ow! Murray, is Kato home yet? <laughs> yeah, Mom. He just walked through the door now. Says he's tired. Gotta do, do homework in his room and sleep. Really? Yeah. Alright. Hehe. <laughs> Gambate, Kato. <laughs> twelve years later, okay? Twelve you twelve years after they fucked. Gotta save there. 